I'm sh- I'm shooketh. Hey Watchaholics, welcome back. We are here for another episode, episode five of Queen Charlotte Bridgerton Story. I can't believe we are basically, look at the end. We've got two more episodes, this one and episode six. So yeah, I just want to keep going. I want to get into episode five because I really just want to see where this love story goes. So let's just get straight into it. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. And also, like this video. Really helps me out. Yeah. Man, last episode was ended pretty sad, you know? Very similar to episode two with King George hearing Charlotte just be very upset that her finding out that her husband is not mad, but angry, as in gone mad. I can't get over that wig. My God. However, if reports from the high galleries are to be believed, Her Majesty's countenance lately evinces little pleasure. I sometimes Aww. think our queen must be the loneliest woman in England. I can imagine she probably is actually inside, like, hurting so much because her her husband, you know. But in a very real way, she is as much a widow as you and I. Violet Bridgerton, are you asking if our queen has been bedded? No, no, I was not. Ha! Is he dead? I have not heard anything, Your Majesty. So I imagine His Majesty remains quite alive. Find out. Loneliness is a battle even queens must fight for themselves. Oh my god. Why is this show gotten so dark? I couldn't even play the violin. I was so sad. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. What the heck is going on there? Did they have like a thing? Did Violet know this? Not a chance. I was three when my parents promised me when a deal was struck. Wait, what? Three years old. So I was raised to be his wife, and therefore it must be mine. I have never once... Wow. She doesn't have an identity. I absolutely refuse to see the physician. You are taking a long time. There can be no doubt. Doubts are the better part of a woman's insight. <laughs> How do they know? <laughs> but you are sure as you can be? Oh, quite sure. In fact, Her Majesty is quite far along. We'll have my Congratulations. friends moved over to Buckingham House at once. What? You carry the crown. Your safety is most important. Just that, well... <laughs> Are they in a little... No, I could not. You know that my duty... I know, I know they're in a little tiff. I'm not able. Much as I would love to stand here and help you find your words, I have my own duties to attend to. Deliver the letter to His Majesty. Oh my God, this is horrible. Can this be done? Just get in there and stop it. <gasps> oh my god. America, my face is saying everything that you need to know. Your Majesty, I have a letter. Sean. No, you're not ready. This is so sad. This is stressful. You are asking me if my four-year-old son is now Lord Danbury. We need to know whether the laws of succession on their side will apply to our side. Oh. Does he inherit the title? Will you remain Lady Danbury or are you just Mrs. Danbury? Oh no, she becomes, she's still Lady. She is Lady Danbury to the end, baby. To the end. Is she still here? She's not fallen down a flight of stairs or choked on a cube of meat. I am sorry to report that she remains alive and well, Your Majesty. It's hilarious because she's like pregnant, but there's like no joy. No one cares because it's just like a job. It's like, well, I have to have a baby. Aww. My skin is too light. Paint my skin darker as it actually is. Your Majesty. No. 
Paint her skin lighter. Pale. Oh, hell no! His Majesty wants her to glow. Damn. That's rude. Rude. All right, George, you got to read these. I can't. Oh, shoot. Has he been reading them? What do these letters say? What do they say? There is a letter, but not for the king. She's writing to Duke Adolphus. What? She wants to leave. There is nothing that can be done. Everything is in danger. Damn. Oh my God. Oh my. I feel bad for Reynolds though. I feel bad. He's literally kind of stuck there, you know? What this is weird. Know? This is my estate. I thought this was my estate. I am sorry for your loss. I, I don't I know what's happening here. Longer, so. Here I am. I don't know if I like this. This is weird. William, this is Princess Adelaide. Pleased to meet you, Royal Highness. And Edward, this is Princess Victoria. Why do they have these ridiculous mutton chops? I... You're betrothed. <gasps> betrothed? They are strangers. What of it? It's like, girl, what did you do the guy did? I did the same exact thing. I married your dad. As a stranger. To peace. Is it not? This is actually hilarious. Violet so Bridgerton what? is very Life's lonely. Seems as if we were standing <laughs> beside them. Quite provocative. Yeah. Your garden is in bloom. It is blooming out of control. <laughs> Can they come in? Dangerous, I get that. I'm sure. I almost asked a footman to lie on top of me today. Let's get Violet Bridgerton a man. A new man. Walk these fields long enough and one's vision catches everything at once is there and not there together What's i don't gone? know how we feel about this it's not gone. situation ship <laughs> the prince of wales prince regent of england with the sole authority to approve any marriage within the royal house including ours you are right we are i forgot myself i overstepped quite right now george you be a good boy and approve your brother's marriages i approve Ha ha ha! That was cute. <laughs> oh, I would have been Aww. here sooner, but it was a hard crossing. I want to go home, Adolphus. Home? Mm -hmm. Nonsense. The child inside you is not yours. My body is growing it. What matter? What matter? Or well, you try growing it then. Your body is not your own. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Kingnapping. An act of war, perhaps. I only want to be home. This alliance, it means Mecklenburg Strelitz is defended by the might of Great Britain. Charlotte, our fates uh... are tied. Oh, wow, these are some, uh... Ooh. He said this body is not your own. Oh, um... I got a belly full of white dog crap in me. And now you lay this shit on me? Maybe my title and estate. Now the crown might call them back. I'm not gonna lie, every time we go back to this, my I'm a little bit like, happiness. Mm, can I get back to Charlotte and King George? Oh God, oh God. No, please, no. No, God, please, no, no! It's been a fine day. Thank you. Interesting. Very interesting, this. Nowhere was it clarified whether these new peerages pass at all. He didn't have all a will, they basically. Were Leaving me lady nothing. My husband had one of the greatest fortunes in all the continent. I'm afraid your husband may have exaggerated his wealth to you. Seek the kindness of a male relative. Or remarry. 
Damn. She's in a pickle. She in a pickle. Where is the current king? Will His Majesty be joining us? His Majesty has business. I write him letters. This is so depressing. My God, she just looks so sad and depressed about life. Like, she's just like, get me out, girl. Like, someone free me from this. You have conceived an heir. Now you are free. As for my son, you never even have to see him again if you do not want. At least until we need another heir. Damn. That is so sad. Literally, like, she's like, oh yeah, you don't even need to see my son. It's fine. As long as you give him babies. Like, oh my god. So sad. Her Majesty. She is in a state I have never seen before. But you give me nothing. You tell me nothing but lies. I ask your help and you refuse to treat me like a partner or an equal. I cannot help you. Why doesn't he want to help? What is going on? Yeah, she's getting depressed. This is not good. She gonna lose that baby. This is torturous. How long has it been? It's been months they've been doing this thing. I am the king's man. I will see the king. Go back to your quarters. Oh my god! I need a second, okay? Why can't anybody give me a goddamn second? Literally, for the longest time, I had no idea she actually had kids. Yesterday, you told me something of your story. And I thank you. Oh, you are my father. Not even know I could have a garden. It did not bloom until after he was gone. And when it did, I nurtured it fiercely. It is all right to want it. Oh. Like, it's okay to move on. It's okay to find somebody else. And your father has gone to the angels. And now you are the man of the family. The man of the family? Yes. And the family needs you to do your duty. Lord Danbury. Lovely to meet you, your highness. Oh! <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, Lord. <clears throat> The question of inheritance, far from decide. You are the son of Agatha Danbury, born named Soma, royal blood of the Pamendembo tribe in Sierra Leone. You come from warriors. That's right. Don't forget it, boo. Don't forget it. You are Lord Danbury. This one is for a friend. You never make hats for your friends. No, but this... Particular friend is feeling quite sad. This is so interesting. Did she have something with like Violet's dad? Like I'm like, is that where this is? Like, does she know? Like, this is a lot. This is a lot to take in right now. I am here to offer my official condolences, of course. Sorrows, prayers. Ha! Ha ha ha! Sorrows, prayers. That place is no home. I have left that place, and I am never, never, never going back. She means to stay. Stay? What an honor. No, not an honor. Terrifying. She's with a child, with a royal child. She quite literally contains a future of the British Empire. Duties are to Her Majesty, not you. And Her Majesty is not lost. Her Majesty's circumstances are quite well known to me, and I am perfectly capable of handling them. All I can say is that I have been lied to and betrayed by everyone in this country but you. You are my only friend. Oh, Because I very much need a friend too. You shall be my friend. 
We are women. And the men who hold our fates hardly conceive we have desires. Dreams of our own. If we are ever to live the lives we want. We have to make them conceive it. Our bravery. Our force of will will be their proof. Yes! Girls unite! All right, now we need we need King George to wake the f up. I'm so tired of this crap. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? That I will not be able to love her. Because marriage is difficult, full of pains, and the life of a royal is lonely. So you grab someone, and you hang on. You love and you love hard. Because oh. God, what a speech. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go see the king. To be the queen of England. I'm off to be the queen of England. Yes! Oh, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. It's like, it's like, happy birthday, I bought you a hat. What is that? A birthday hat. You must be quiet. I want to make a sound. Lady Danbury, you are a bad one. I want to see him. Where is he? No, your majesty would not want that. Do not tell me what I want, doctor. She is the queen. She is the queen. That way, your majesty. I'm Ty the King! Come back to me. Please, George, come back. <laughs> I am Charlotte. This is our child. And we need you to be George again. Or none of us are ready enough. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. He's here. I care for his happiness. I care for his soul. Let him be mad, if mad is what he needs. You are finished. Remove him from the grounds. This ha. is an error. An error that will destroy him. Be grateful I do not order you destroyed. Slay! Slay! True, she could have beheaded your ass. He needs food, a warm bath, and clothes. I will need my things packed. We are moving to Q. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! This is what I wanted. This is what I needed. This took a turn. This took a turn. <laughs> I can't. What the hell? Lady 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 Danbury? Stop it. Lady Lady Danbury had something with Violet's dad? I'm sh I'm shaken. Okay, this episode was a slow burn to me. I felt like it was like, well, first of all, this is a really long episode, but I, I felt like it was a very slow burn because the moment Queen Charlotte was like, I don't want to be a freaking queen. I said, thank you. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this moment. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. And then this Lady Danbury thing. I'm like, is this something that's now we're just always going to know? Does Violet know? Like, what? Like, she was the other woman. She was the other woman. <laughs> and also, it's kind of interesting to think because, like, she had something with another older man. I don't know. I don't really know how old Lady Danbury is supposed to be in this show because she looks really young. 
I always thought like her and Violet were maybe, well, I guess they're just like a, actually like very different in age, like at least like ten years, maybe eight. I don't know, but anyway, absolutely not so. Anyway, what did you think about this episode? Have you felt like this episode was a little bit also of a slow burn? I felt like it was a little bit slow. I have to say, it wasn't my favorite episode, but I really did like the end, like the last 10, 15 minutes, I think is when the sh- this episode kind of like started to rev up and I actually was really into it. I did feel like it was a little bit kind of like, all right, where are we going? I did feel like a little bit long, but let's get in um, to the next episode. So guys, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video for our finale.